What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random. Now, I'm in a chatting mood. I've done a couple things yesterday, and I want to process it all with you right now. In this video, in which I get ready to make another video, okay? But if you want to hang out with me, hear about what happened recently. Uh, what day is it? Ugh. Today is March 27th, so that dates this video. If you want to hear what happened recently to me, uh, step around. Stick around. Stick around. Stick around. Not step around. Um, and if you don't, I have plenty of other videos that you can check out. So, in this video, I am going to, uh, actually, I could just show you. It was at this moment that he knew. This is not my, uh, this is not my lighting when we gotta step back, but, uh, the very first thing that you're gonna ask me is like, Aaliyah, when did your eyes get so beautiful? Baby, I just woke up, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, I slept in my contact lenses. Would not recommend, I'm just saying, I just do that, okay? So we're gonna re my eyes by putting some good old contact solution in. This is a bad habit I've had since, like, when I first started wearing contacts. I don't know why. I think my, maybe my mom said something about my contact lenses being expensive one time, and that's all it took for me to be like, I'll just never take them off. Not out of spite, it's just like, wow, this is a good solution. I can still see. I feel fine, right? We're also going to go ahead and washy-washy my face and brushy-brushy my teeth, okay? I don't know if you want to be here for that. I'll speed through. Six months later. And we are done with that step. Follow me. My face is still wet from having just washed it, so we're gonna do a little cleanup moment. Everyone, look around your space, and if there's something you can clean up, let's clean it together. Are you ready? Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody do. It's not that bad in here. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. My toesies. My challenge to you is to pause the video right here, look around your space again, and actually change what you see. Give me a moment. I'm less of a cleaner and more of a straightener upper, but... You know, I, I think I did the thing. To try not to look at myself. You know, I look good though. There was a big pile of clothes over here. They weren't dirty. They were just worn once. My bathroom, you know, my book bags. I actually moved that book bag to over here because we're gonna talk about what's inside it later. Okay, I set my camera up. Because now, we're going to go ahead and do my makeup, okay? And you see that bag in the background? I'm going to open that right after I do my makeup, so stick around. Um, and so while I do my makeup, I guess I want to talk to you guys about uh, my life, okay? I'm going to specifically talk about friends, okay? And there's this realization for me that I, well, I can't say absolutely I don't have friends 
because I do have friends, right? But I kind of feel like I don't have friends. Like, on the internet, I have people, okay? Games and drinks, sour. Well, I haven't interacted with sour in a long time. But uh, waffle, I have people on the internet. Uh, v loving crystals, there's people who care about me, right? But I don't have, like, in-person friends. Like, we all have this connection strictly through the internet. And so, well, I've met Moan, and I've met, uh, my mind just completely blanked. Uh, just know it was all in love. But I've met people in real life, and it was nice. But, like, meeting people in real life gave me a lot of anxiety, too, because what if they don't like me? Um, and that's the whole thing about friendship, okay? Because the reality is, it's quite easy for people to call me a friend. It's quite easy for people to get comfortable with me and call me a friend. Happens a lot in my life. And the thing is, I think we all have different ideas of what friends are. I grew up with parents that told me that you don't have any friends. Um, you were brought into this world alone, you're going to die alone. That was something that was told to me in my pivotal years. And so, now... I grew up thinking that in a way, and now I don't see myself being able to make friends. And and also, like it comes to how you define a friend. I will help just about anyone. I wouldn't say anyone. Like let me leave myself a little little gray area, but in general, I'll help just about anyone. I'm pretty agreeable to certain things. I don't really, you know, there's not a lot of care to me. There are sometimes I don't want to have a fight type of thing. But also I have this energy of very like, boom, in your face. I'm a NFP, a little, little introvert. I wouldn't say I'm like super introverted, but I'm a lot more introverted than people might seem or might think. But on top of being introverted, I have this big like energy very big energy when I step into the room people will think I'm taller than what I am uh, I'm 173 but people always give me a couple more centimeters you know what I mean and those centimeters make the difference I'm like no I'm shorter than that but um that's been something I've always been told oh yeah like that's my little command of the room like I've, I've talked about this before or maybe I didn't talk about it before, but I always wanted to be able to command a room like, like not like everyone look at me, but I wanted to be pivotal in the group that I'm in. I don't want to be the leader. That's a lot of work. I don't want to be the leader, but I want to be pivotal. I want to be, if I was gone, people would feel a missing link type of thing. And so back to friendship. I kind of am worried about being able to make friends. I'm actually not kind of. I'm really worried about being able to make friends because in this world, I don't quite have a family. And people always say, you know, your friends are your family. Yeah, you got to make them first. And I think I have a very high, I want to say standard of friendship. Now, my internet friends, we're good. We're good. You know, babies, y'all are y'all been there for me. You know what I mean? But in life, I don't think that you can only have friends online, right? So, are we going to meet or something? But I want I want to be able to meet like I mean, I guess my friendship friends, we just going to have to meet in real life. But then again, that brings up the question of what if you don't like me when you meet me in real life? You know what I'm saying? I could be annoying. Sometimes I don't know what to say. And, like, it's really easy to sit here and talk to myself. Like, it's real easy to sit here and talk to myself. When I'm around people, my nervous habit is the default to sex jokes. Like, I will default, defaulty, alty to sex jokes. And that's my nervous habit. You know? And, like, people be like, well, you know that you have this habit. Break out of it. But it's just like... I don't know. Kind of feels like if I break out of the habit right now before I meet people that like are really like, oh yeah, 
come hang out with me and stuff like that. I'm changing myself. And changing myself for who? And changing myself into what? Like, I mean, maybe when I become a mother, my default habit would be to talk about my kids. You know how people have cats or kids and all they do is talk about their cats or kids? That'll probably be me. I'll probably be that person. But also, I can't see myself feeling comfortable with having a family before I make the friends around me. And I want a safe space. And I don't know, life just seems so hard. I'm doing the same makeup that I did yesterday. I liked it. I was very proud about my look. Everyone gave me compliments. They were like, wow, you look so pretty. And I was like, wow, I don't know how to do makeup. I just, you know, you know, you know, this is just all concept. This is all concept. So um, if you have any makeup tips, please let me know down below so I can uh, go ahead and better myself. But as of now, baby, this is all concept, okay? And the concept is uh, very simple. Okay, I'll show you. I take this green, I put it everywhere. I take this green, I put it on my lids. Now I come back and I take this yellow. This, go ahead, focus on it. This yellow. Now I take this yellow, I dip my hand in it, and then I just press that into my corners. And then sweep it out. How did I get blue on my nose? I dig my hand into blue. My bad, shorty. My bad, I took a chunk out of blue too. Let me show you. I've been messing blue up. Why y'all ain't tell me I was doing that? Not Lord. Oh my goodness, blue is just all up on my nose. I don't know, I think this is probably the universe telling me to use blue as a, uh, use blue as a blush. Universe said use blue as a blush. Be one of those avatar people. Um, oh, I'm so close to doing it. So let me know about this friendship. I can go into depth in another video about how I feel about like friendship. But let me know how you guys think about friendship. Because there's an idea that I'm getting older and I need to have friends. Because if I don't have friends, what else am I here for? You know what I mean? And not even to sound like depressed or like I'm going to go mm -hmm. you know I'm gonna you know you know what I'm saying but it is just also a reality that there is this loneliness that comes from the world and not knowing who your people are or what you're going to do in life I need to pull up my uh, thing again I'm gonna do a liner I did a good liner yesterday it was amazing It was a very amazing liner. I was like, wow, this is an amazing liner. And I took pictures. Oh, this is good right now too. I took pictures and I was like, it doesn't take in just how amazing that line was. I did it literally like, shoot. Shoot. Like, I usually have a lot more of a hard time doing my makeup, but I was rushing and I just did it and I was done. And, like, people liked it. And that makes me want to do more makeup. I used to want to be a makeup girly. Like, there's so many things that interest me. I don't know. I think maybe I should just focus on myself. Maybe that's the thing. Just focus on yourself, Aaliyah, and everything else will work out. Like, I just keep finding things to be worried about. 
Honestly, I just keep finding things. Someone asked me, did I have a brown lipstick? This is brown. Well, this is my makeup. Let's go ahead and get into this bag. Now, yesterday, I did something. Yesterday, I did something that you probably won't believe. Number one, I bought this bag because I bought this bag because I don't know to celebrate but also I had a lot of crap to take home I never told you guys where I work uh, this is one of my co-workers I stole his picture and he's gonna go in my picture wall right here uh, I have a picture wall and I put random people on my picture wall but I got this award I got this award I got an award for the best contribution by a new teacher. Um, but I'm not a new teacher. And people were asking me if I'm going to continue. Well, I mean, I've, I've been here for a year, but people were asking me if I was going to continue to work uh, at my company for a long time. And I have to say that I feel like I have to, bottle of water. Actually, it's two bottles of water. I feel like I have to work harder to just be noticed and it's scary because if you have to work so hard to be noticed it's like notice me notice me mama love me love me mama you know and i don't want to get into another toxic habit of you know following that wrong thing uh but yeah this is our logo it doesn't say too much about the school but uh our thing was uh, from seed to blossom, growing and learning as one. And we have like little tote bags. And I got a bunch of snacks in here. This is product display. Zoom in. Oh, I'm sorry. This is product display. Zoom in. Got a little snacky snacks in here. Uh, a little latte portion thing. This is like just a little quickie quick what's in my bag. One of the things they gave us is these flowers to make tea with. Okay, so. Cute little baggie. Um, and then some soda crackers. This product display is not doing it. And a little hair hair pick like one of those things i don't know how to use it but it's one of those things right i have two bags of this um they were goodie bags for everyone else and i stole one and then i also won a water bottle this thing is huge i was like is it wine they were like no it's a water bottle i was like wow amazing and this is because i joined the committee so this is the box red bottom and inside, ooh. oh, oh no, I thought they said water bottle, look, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh, this is like, it's better than a water bottle. This is definitely something that I appreciate. Mm. Wow, someone told me it was water bottles and I was like, in my head I was like, oh, water bottle, but this isn't a water bottle. I mean, it can hold water, but it's not a water bottle. Wow, I'm happy. And, the, you know, I bought this bag just so I can carry everything because I was tired of carrying everything. Um, 
we had a fun time yesterday at our teacher conference. Not really. Now, a lot of people didn't have a fun time, but I drew this picture. And uh, this is based off of Boy in the Bubble, the song. So you guys should go check out Boy in the Bubble, the song, if you think that this, this picture interests you. It's by Alec Benjamin. Again, check out Boy in the Bubble, the song, if this picture is interesting to you by Alec Benjamin. Um, and so that was what I got. And I could tell you a little bit about the teacher's conference. And I'm gonna, oh my God. You know what, just stay there. I'm gonna make this really quick. The teacher's conference was a conference in which we had a lot of training. I was a part of the committee, didn't know it was gonna be that much training. Uh, nobody really, really wanted to pay attention to the host. They just didn't really wanna be there, but we were all kind of forced to be there. Um, I enjoyed that opportunity because, I, like I said earlier, I was a host, I stood up on the stage, I was talking to people, I helped the thing go. It was such an awkward experience though. You get to see just how adults do not have attention spans at all. Um, and that's fine. It was just a weird experience. Like, oh yeah, I'm talking. It's kind of like if you go to, uh, if you go to a concert and everyone is supposed to be like excited and yelling like, ooh, and you the you pan out to the audience and everyone's just kind of like looking around like, yeah, yeah. You know, it was one of those moments. It was so surreal, but everyone who was paying attention was like, you did so good. And you know what? I needed that because I want to be to that point where I can stand on the stage and actually do a good job. Okay, like that's a goal for mine. Um, thinking about getting into, I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit later, but there were two things that stood out to me. Why, why I like this whole event. Number one, I was able to do the creative arts, which is where I drew that picture. They were like, can you draw what you hear? And that was like, and if I was going to draw something towards a song, I chose that song, right? So go ahead and check it out if you're interested. And number two, there was this thing where this woman who is like actually certified to do MTBI tests, you know, that whole psychology of it all. And she was also talking about uh, what your, what colors say about you, right? And my color is yellow. I, I feel like I should have showed you guys the picture and would have been like, what is my color? My color is yellow. I always thought I was going to be a green. I'm not mad at being a yellow, but my color is yellow. We're going to have to check that out later. I love learning things about myself. And so I want to do more personality tests on this uh, find account. I want to do more where I just kind of just get to know me and you get to know me by extension, right? Um, so my color is yellow. That was really fun. I love the psychology of it all. And I would love to dive deeper into psychology on my channel because I just think it's so interesting. Um, so that was my yesterday and this is my makeup and I had a very eventful life so far. I did so much and now what am I going to do next? That is the big question. I look around my house and I'm like, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to do next? But I think I've already done it. Much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace and love. Mwah.